everyone welcome back today we've got more tesla footage to check out i haven't checked this one out yet there's been some recent news on the tesla semi as well so we're going to go through that recent news on just tesla model s tesla model x plenty of news so let's check this video out let's see what we've got here so this is the famous graffiti tesla semi truck of course lots of these things are already being shipped out to fratole and to pepsico as well so wow look at that thing and you know what everyone is just looking <laughs> You notice how the, how the windows open, my goodness. Yeah, that's kind of cool from the Tesla Semi. Plenty of space in that cabin. And of course, a couple of people, um, one or two people in the truck as well, probably just watching it to, you know, part of the testing and everything. This is some additional footage that I found. Um, very interesting, very interesting. This is another prototype. Um, I, I can mostly see that because because of the, the panels on, on the side of the vehicle. But in typical Tesla fashion, the Tesla vehicles, they have a very signature look. I mean, look at the front of that thing. It's just so Tesla, you know, so futuristic. It's something you'd always see in a sci-fi movie. Now, videos like this, I actually didn't get to see videos like this. So this is, uh, I, I didn't, I didn't get to see this one, but that was the smaller Tesla, Tesla Semi. Check this one out though. I did not see this at all. This is the first time I'm seeing this two Tesla Semi rolling in and they are huge machinery they, they, these things are not small at all lots of batteries look at the motors look at look at the the mechanics the engineering that has gone into these into these trucks plenty of teslas there it looks like a tesla supercharger by the looks of it i do have some additional footage there's also this one as well um another fertile truck this is one of the more recent fertile trucks that have that have been on the roads it's actually pretty exciting. Look at that. It does look very clean. It looks like that thing has been on the road for the first day. Um, that's an original Tesla Model S. I noticed the dashboard. You notice the dashboard. It's original Tesla Model S, you know. I don't know how old it is. Is it is it from 2014 or 13? Like the original ones, the first ones? This is something I actually wanted to check out. The tilting display. The tilting displays on Tesla. This Elon Musk did say this is coming to the new versions, but we didn't really know when. And we were asking questions like, well, it, are the motors already in the vehicle? And will Tesla just release an update over time to enable this feature? That's exactly what they did. <laughs> that is pretty cool. So they installed the hardware and later they send the update. So it performs exactly the way we need it to. That is, imagine, imagine that. Just imagine that for a moment. Everyone whose car can do this, they just get an update and now they're they're rotate they've got a rotating display. It's like that's as futuristic as it gets. That's amazing. In other news, PepsiCo will initially use the Tesla Semi for a trip of four hundred and twenty five thousand miles. Interesting. Vice presidents say PepsiCo will deploy one hundred Tesla semis in twenty twenty three. One hundred declined to share details about the truck weight and pricing. Very interesting. Okay, so they'll get 100 semis on the road. You know, I was always asking the question, how much semis, how many can Tesla produce next year? 100, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000? I think it's still within the hundreds of Tesla semis, but it's not gonna be in the thousands. I, I don't think so. I think these trucks will still be at low volumes. And that's crucial to understand. The company aims to deploy 15 trucks from Mendoza and 21 from Sacramento. Tell me though, ladies and gents, what do you think of the rotating display? That's as cool as it gets. Now, the the, the semi trucks won't only be delivered to, to PepsiCo, they'll be delivered to other companies as well, as I suppose. So Tesla could end up producing a few hundred of these vehicles, 300, 400, 500, maybe close to a thousand. But I don't think it will be a thousand, two thousand, five thousand. I was I was hoping that it would be, but unfortunately, I don't think so. I found this cool article on Tesla revenue. Could be quite interesting. What drives Tesla revenues for Q3 of this year, 2022? So total revenue for Tesla, 21.45 billion, 55% year over year growth. That's quite interesting. So from the automotive sale, 17.79 billion, a 56% year over year growth. So damn, that's that's increased almost uh, almost over over 60, almost 60%, but over 50% for sure. Service and others, 1.6 billion. 
in revenue for for services and this is an 80 percent growth year over year energy generation and storage 1.12 billion so 1.1 billion and it's a 38 percent year over year growth so tesla superchargers and the energy storage systems that they provide on the other hand, we've got automotive leasing, 621 million. That's a 61% year over year growth. And for automotive regulatory credit, 286 million. 286 million. That's a 2.5% year over year growth. So that's a quick look on what's really driving the company's revenue at the moment, like the major parts of the Tesla revenue. So what's going to happen with the Tesla bot when that becomes bigger? You know, what's going to happen with the Cybertruck? the Tesla Roadster. And of course, we know that the Cybertruck will sell a lot more than the Tesla Roadster. Keep that in mind. Share prices are down. Share prices are down, and I'm extremely happy that the shares are this cheap. I know a lot of people are upset, but what are you upset about? Cheap shares, free shares, kinda, almost. Anyway, I just had to say. So ladies and gents, that is it for today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, and I will see you in our next video. Peace.